Hello everybody and what is going on? So today I thought it'd be a good idea to do another Ask a Mate video because in my last couple of videos previous to this I've been like, ask me some questions, ask to ask, let's do another Ask a Mate video, it'll be fun for everyone. And it is, you have, you've asked the questions, you've asked to ask and now it's time for me to deliver on the ask, yeah? But before we get into that, I don't know if you can see, but like my face is a little bit more distorted than usual as you can see, like there's not a good look going on here. It's not that bad now but earlier today it was just like whoa or looked like quiet from metal gear solid like you know when she's got all that stuff around her eyes that's how it was earlier but anyway explain the face so yesterday me and a couple of friends went to the pub and i haven't drunk alcohol in a while so i thought yeah I'm gonna let loose, drink some alcohol, add one, cool, had three, cool. Towards the three mark, you have a decision to make. Should I carry on drinking or should I stop here and just have a nice, mellow, relaxed night? But nah. So we had three, we had four, we had five, and we probably had six, I don't remember. But like six pints later, I was pretty much gone. I kept the composure well on the way home, but the second I got home, I was just like, nah, man, the room is spinning in a more drunken, slurry tone, talking to myself. And at about one o'clock in the morning, I was hugging my toilet seat like that, and I was just like, I'm gonna throw up. I am going to throw up, and I did. It was the most violent experience I've had with my mouth. And when you like heave, your face just sort of goes into this whole stressed out moment. You're forcing stuff out. I know, it's disgusting. So basically what happened was I burst blood vessels in my face. And that's why I've got all these little red bits like around the face area. So all that is not normally there, but just for today it is. Awesome. The questions. And the first question that got asked was, yo, Adam, what diameter did you get? I'm in the same boat. I've got a pretty big nose. And this was left on my nose piercing fail video, like the one in the archives that I don't talk about. I got this one in the end. Uh, I don't know what the size is for this. All I know is, is that when I went to the tattoo studio, the tattoo and piercing studio, should I say, she had to order one specially for my nose because like the biggest one they had couldn't fit my nose. So they had to specially order one for my nose. So I honestly couldn't tell you, all I know is it's big. If you really wanna get a nose piercing, I would highly recommend going to an actual piercing and tattoo shop. They're professionals, they do it every single day. So, you know, just put your trust into them and you'll get the right size piercing for your nose. That's my advice. And the next question is, what is your opinion on Gucci? Now, before I got into fashion and I started, you know, looking up brands and stuff like that, there's always been like a core fundamental group of brands that you will always know. That will be Versace, Gucci, Gucci, Dolce and Cabana, I think. And those sort of high fashion brands, which is just like a household name to everyone. I've never actually bought anything from Gucci or Versace or any of the like the known high fashion brands, but I will say that the general styling of Gucci is pretty nice. You know, it's cut, it's clean, it's nice, but it's just not my style. However, I will say though, I wouldn't mind some Gucci slippers, wearing them with some cotton white socks, wearing them to Crep City. That would be my only purchase from Gucci. And I hope that answers your question. Now this next question is a fun little two-parter. What are your favorite low-key brands and what jewelry slash accessories do you wear? I'm gonna answer the first part of the question first. There are a couple of low-key brands that I'm quite feeling at the moment. Quite feeling? Feeling quite? No. Anyway, I'm feeling a couple of brands at the moment. The first brand that I'm feeling is Secret Store. I don't know if anyone's heard of Secret Store, but it's just this really cool brand. They do some really cool designs. They collaborate with quite a few artists and they just make some amazing t-shirts. I got this one jumper from Secret Store ages ago. I'm talking like back in 2012 or something. I think I've got it somewhere. One sec. Now, this is the first ever jumper that I got from Secret Store. As you can tell, it's got like this fierce looking stag. I'm all about the stags, as you can see in my tattoo over here. But yeah, this was from Secret Store back in 2012. I don't know what artists produced these jumpers and tees and whatnot, but they had like stags, bears, you know, all sorts of forest creatures. It was a really, really cool series that they did. So Secret Store is the first low key brand that I like. I bought that back in 2012 before I was, you know, getting into fashion and stuff. And I just thought, stag, sick. Let's put it on a t-shirt or a jumper, put it on myself, looks super wavy. That's the oldest thing in my wardrobe to date, I think as well. So. Fun fact, and the next brand that I'm quite feeling, I only discovered this brand like a couple of weeks ago. It's called Set. You might be familiar with Set because they do the cool little S signet ring. I want that. And I'm generally feeling the vibe of Set clothes. So that looks sick. That looks awesome. That is the ting. And that's Set. And last but not least, I only found out about this brand like a couple of days ago. So I don't know much about it, but I'm quite feeling loca. Don't have a lot of information. I only just found out about it. 
but loca. And I will put links to all of their stores in the description down below. And the second part of your question was, what jewelry slash accessories do you wear? I've got a couple of accessories. I don't have a lot. I like to keep it low key and subtle. I always wear the watch, the gold Michael Kors watch that I got for my 21st birthday. It goes with pretty much every single outfit that I wear. It's a cool watch and it looks pretty cool in the tattoo. I was like, yes, that's a good combination. I have my nose ring here, just a nice standard nose ring. I was thinking of like improving the nose ring by getting like a proper one, like, you know, those cool ones with the balls on the end or something. Like, I don't know, I have to look into it. And I have this one, I think it's one centimeter. I don't know how they measure these things, but yeah, this is my flesh hole. I did have both my ears pierced at one point and I thought, you know what? Yeah, like I'm gonna stretch my ear. Slow progression, quite painful. But it's worth it in the end because, you know, that's a good size. I don't want to go any bigger. Do you want to see what my ear looks like without this in it? It's pretty weird. Like, you know those hole punches you get in school? It looks like someone hole punched my ear. And those are the jewellery slash accessories that I wear. In terms of rings and stuff, I do want to get some rings. Like, as I said before, I do like the set ring. This is what the set ring looks like again. Pretty cool ring. You know, I would have that on the pinky. I'd have a sovereign ring, you know, and just mix it up with rings. And the next question is Supreme or Palace? Palace or Supreme? Palace, cause it's better for bunning. But seriously, trying to pick either Supreme or Palace is like trying to pick your favorite child. Palace. I do like Supreme. I like quite a lot of the pieces that Supreme have been bringing out this spring summer collection. But I will say that overall, Palace is a better brand for me. Not because it's more road, but just because I like the designs. I like how they incorporate the whole VHS 90 sort of look into their apparel. And it's, it's Pally. Sick. Now the next question is, if you could cop any coat slash jacket, what would it be? If you asked this question a couple of days ago, I would not have the slightest clue. I would just have to pull out the first thing that came to my head and it would be like a Nike 3M jacket. That would be my answer back then. But yesterday and today I had a conversation with my dad about fashion back in the 80s and that. And he was saying that workmen or builders or whatever used to wear donkey jackets when they was at work. For those of you who don't know what a donkey jacket is, like me the other day, a donkey jacket was basically just this plain black jacket with leather bits here, here, and on the back. It wasn't very practical because like, you know, it's the 80s, nothing's really practical. It was still considered relatively safe to smoke the 80s. But anyway, donkey jackets. I really want a donkey jacket. I don't know where to get them as of yet. I've probably got some sleuthing to do on the internet. They'll probably find them on eBay or like a specialist website somewhere. Donkey jackets are the jackets that I really want at the moment. Pair them with a couple of Doc Martin boots. You've got yourself an 80s mod look. Sick. And the last question of the day is, where do you see yourself in 10 years time? Greetings from Texas. First off, hello. And secondly, in 10 years time, now that is a classic interview question. There's always two ways to think about where you're gonna see yourself in 10 years time. There's expectation and reality. I'll take you through the best case scenario first. Expectation, 10 years time. I wanna own my own business, doing something fashion related. So I've got my business, or two, or three, Got my business, got my big off house, YouTube channel was going, you know, off the roof in a good way. Kids, wife, six sneaker collection, the lot. The reality of it all is a lot more different than the expectation. That's the expectation, super sick life in my opinion. And then you've got this sort of life here, right? 10 years time, probably carrying on what I'm doing. By this time, I've probably jumped from job to job to job and I'm in like, you know, like a semi-stable job that pays me, you know, relatively enough money to pay for a mortgage and my car is probably going to be like a Renault Megane or something like that and just living a sensible lifestyle. So either way, it's gonna be a sensible lifestyle. Unless we throw in on tour with Drake in this sort of category as well, cause that would be pretty cool. No, 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 right, I wanna change my answer. Touring the world with Drake. 10 years time, done, done, done. That's my plan. And that is it. I just wanna say a massive thank you to everyone who sent in their questions. And I wanna say a massive thank you to everyone who watches my videos and have just got me into a position where I can actually answer questions. Because answering viewers' questions is something I've really wanted to do for a very long time, so I hope that we could continue with it. If you wanna send me questions for the next Ask Mate video, then you can by using the hashtag Ask mate in the comment section down below. Or if you don't have a YouTube account, then you can use the same hashtag ask mate and mention me, sick mate, on Twitter. I've just made a whole new Twitter account. I deleted 18,000 tweets and 900 followers just to start fresh, really. So I'll leave my Twitter details here and here. 
that's going to be my username and that's going to be the hashtag. Combine the two in a tweet and that's where you can send questions to as well. Awesome. If you like this video, then you can give it a nice little like. If you want to subscribe and see more of what I do, because I do a lot of fashion based stuff, lifestyle based stuff, style based stuff, then you can by using a subscribe button that can be located anywhere on this page. And that is it. Bye. Down here is just a little bit messy. And then look over here. Yeah, it's a mess. It's just a big, massive pile of clothes. It's more of a mountain, really.